In this lecture, we're going to talk about determining sample size for constructing confidence interval. First, we're going to take a look at sample size for proportion. We know from past that the margin of error is z alpha over 2 times the square root of p hat times q hat divided by n when constructing confidence interval for population proportion. With some algebra work, we get n equal p hat times q hat times quantity z alpha over 2 over e to the second power. We can use this formula to find the minimum sample size needed when working with proportion. Keep in mind, we always need to round up when n is in decimal. This chart should simplify things for us. When p hat and q hat are known, we use the formula that we just discussed for minimum sample size. But when p hat and q hat are unknown, we're going to assume that p hat is 0.5 and q hat is 0.5, and the above formula becomes 0.25 times quantity z alpha over 2 over e to the second power. In this example, we want to find minimum sample size needed if we wish to construct 98% confidence interval for population proportion and margin of error not to exceed 5%, assuming the sample proportion is 0.35. Our desired confidence level is 98%. So we can go ahead and find the critical value. Recall that the confidence level represents the middle area. We're going to use TI command inverse norm with the left area of 0.99, mean of 0, standard deviation 1. Our critical value Z becomes 2.326. We were given p hat to be 0.35, we can find q hat with the margin of error not to exceed 5%, that means e is 0.05. Now we can apply these values into the formula. So n is approximately 492.335. We always round up the final answer, so the minimum sample size is 493. In this example, again, we need to find minimum sample size, but this time we want to be 90% confident and margin of error not to exceed 4%, assuming p hat and q hat are both unknown. With the desired confidence level of 90%, once again we use the inverse norm with the left area of 0.95, our critical value is 1.645. We were told in the problem to assume that p hat and q hat are both unknown. When they are unknown, we use 0.5 for both. And we also need margin of error not to exceed 4%, so e would be 0 0.04. Apply these values to our formula. 
rounding up the answer, the minimum sample size needed is 423. Now let's take a look at sample size for mean. Again, we know the margin of error from past was z alpha over 2 times sigma over square root of n. With some algebra work, we can isolate or solve for n, and n becomes quantity z alpha over 2 times sigma divided by margin of error e, and then quantity to the second power. And again, when n is in decimal, we need to round up. So when sigma is known, we use the formula that we just discussed. But when sigma is unknown, the only difference is that instead of sigma, we're going to use the sample standard deviation. We want to find minimum sample size needed if we wish to construct 95% confidence interval, this time for population mean and margin of error not to exceed 10, given the population standard deviation is 25. With the confidence level of 95%, we're going to find the critical value. Again, we're going to use the TI command inverse norm with the left area of 0.975. So our critical value is 1.960. We were also given sigma, the population standard deviation, to be 25 and margin of error to be 10. Apply these values to our formula for the sample size. Since the n is in decimal, we're going to round up. So the minimum sample size needed is 25. In this example, we're supposed to find minimum sample size needed if we wish to construct 99% confidence interval, margin of error not to exceed 8, assuming a sample standard deviation is 12.5. First, we're going to find the critical value for confidence level of 99% by using inverse norm and left area of 0.995. So our critical value is 2.576. We're given the sample standard deviation and the margin of error. Now we're going to use the second formula, plug in the values, simplify. Again, since n is in decimal, we're going to round up. So the minimum sample size needed is 17. I hope this presentation helped you understand how to determine sample size when constructing confidence interval for population proportion and population mean.